South Mountain is the largest municipal park in the United States and one of the largest municipal parks in the world. It's home to Dobbins Lookout. This is one of my favorite places to visit, not only because of its stunning views, but because of the many stories told about it. Dobbins Lookout even makes an appearance in my latest book in the Sticky Ones series, Nick Clancy and the Scorpion. If you're a writer, Dobbins Lookout is a great place to write on Wednesday. South Mountain has been a sacred site to indigenous peoples for over a thousand years. The ancestral Sonoran desert peoples dug hundreds of miles of canals by hand to support their communities. Archaeologists believe they left the area around 1450 of the Common Era. Miners are believed to have scavenged what is now called South Mountain for veins of precious metals beginning in the 1800s. The city of Phoenix was founded in 1867 near where the Salt River and Gila River meet. At that time it was an agricultural community that made use of the ancient canals. Arizona became the 48th of the United States on February 14, 1912. In 1924, South Mountain Preserve was established after the city of Phoenix purchased over 10,000 acres of what was then known as the Salt River Mountains. From 1933 to 1940, two camps of the Civilian Conservation Corps, numbering around 4,000 men, built trails, camps, and other facilities throughout the park. Dobbins Lookout, the highest point accessible by trail, was named after James C. Dobbins, then chair of the Phoenix City Planning Commission. From Dobbins Lookout, the city of Phoenix and its suburbs and the neighboring mountains can be seen. On the way up to Dobbins Lookout, there's a roofless group of structures, one of which has a sign that says Scorpion Gulch. Some remember Scorpion Gulch as a bar, and others remember it as a dry goods store. In the foothills of the park, there's a phoenix point of pride called the Mystery Castle, a structure built by hand by a father for his daughter from scraps and boulders found in the area. In another part of the park, there's an abandoned stone fireplace at what the park rangers call Lost Ranch. While the park rangers can't tell you its precise history, some think it was a speakeasy that was later abandoned because of the intense summer heat and the lack of nearby access to water. Others think it was a nudist colony. There's also a tale of a man in the late 1960s being hauled out of the park by helicopter after searching for Padre Cave, where his father once took him in 1886. His father said the cave was full of gold and that the gold would be his after his death. The man collapsed after hours of searching for that gold by himself. He was in his late 80s at the time. There's no indication that the gold was ever found. Dobbins Lookout is a shady place to sit and ponder the lore of the land that surrounds it while writing stories of one's own. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit like and subscribe to receive more videos about intriguing places to write on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.